It's time for another Out of Bounds Rewind with Bo Bounds on ESPN 105.9, The Zone. Yeah, they're a little bit behind where I expected them to be, but some of that, too, is because of the fact that the, you, you lose the spring evaluation period, you know, for all of us, not just coaches, but for those of us to go out and evaluate players. And you don't have the Nike camps to get some objective third-party measurables about players. And so as a result, you know, the rankings this year are probably the the, the worst ones we've had uh, you know, in a decade or more. And that's not to be critical of the network in any stretch. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm suggesting is there's less information out there about players for this recruiting cycle than there has been in a long time. So there's a lot of guesswork going on. But Mississippi State's about to go on a pretty pretty good recruiting run. There's some, a couple of receivers out there. And that's one of the things we had talked about on your show a while back is, you know, State was kind of treading water there for a while. And they were, you know, in the top five or six for a handful of big-time receivers. They needed some receivers to pop. Well, they got Teddy Knox in, and now we expect you know, Dwayne Lofton uh, out of Fort Worth, Texas, and then uh, Malik Neighbors out of Louisiana. Those are two big-time guys we expect to join the class sooner rather than later. And I think that's when you'll see State kind of begin, okay, kind of get back where you think they should be. I think they're a little bit behind, but uh, certainly they've got time to make up for lost ground. Do you think that they can put together a top 30 class? Yeah, I think so. And it, it's going to be a little more difficult this year because there's not the star power in the state of Mississippi that there ordinarily is. As a matter of fact, I think there are even some kids that are rated high in this class are a little bit overrated. I think sometimes they, they, they give us those stars because they, they go, oh, well, typically you have half a dozen kids in Mississippi to get four stars, so let's uh, give those kids four stars. I think this is just a weird class because of the circumstances around it all. I mean, kids had not been, been able to get out and go to summer camps. They haven't had a chance to get out and go work in these independent combines very often. And so there's just a lot of information out there that we ordinarily have available to us that is not available. And so as, as these guys get on the field and senior film makes the rounds, I think you'll see the, the rankings kind of tighten up a little bit. But the, it's not a huge year in state this year. Next year looks to be a really good one. But this year, one of the thinnest years in state in my career. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.